In this problem, I'm asked to perform the given row operation, which is given here, and I have to apply it to this matrix here. Well, what it's telling me to do is take row 2 and subtract 2 times row 1. In order to make the arithmetic a little easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take row 2 and I'm going to add negative 2 times row 1 to it because then I have to add figures in my head instead of subtract them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with writing out my row 2. So here's my scratch work. Here's my row 2. It's negative 5, 0, 2, and negative 3. And believe it or not, that said negative 3. And then I'm going to take negative 2 times row 1, and I'm going to add it to it. So what is negative 2 times this whole row up here? So I'm going to do negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. Then negative 2 times negative 4 is 8. Then negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And lastly, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. So now I've done that. Now I have negative 2 times row 1. I can just add it to my row 2. So now we're going to add these two numbers. What's negative 5 and negative 10? Negative 15. Now we're going to add 0 to 8. 8. 2 and negative 2 is 0. And lastly, negative 3 and negative 4 is negative 7. So that is my new row 2. So now all we have to do is we have to rewrite the original matrix and row 1 is going to stay the same. Row 3 is going to stay the same. I'm just, instead of this row 2, I'm going to put this row 2. So let me rewrite my matrix quickly. Row 1 stays the same. 5, negative 4, 1, and 2. Now I'm going to put in my new row 2. Negative 15, 8, 0, negative 7. And lastly, my original row 3. Negative 1, 3, negative 2, and negative 1. So notice in this the only row that changed was row 2. And now all I've got to do is try and find the answer. So let's have a look at them. Let's have a look at A. Okay, nope, row 1's definitely wrong. That one's out. Let's look at B. Row 1 looks good. Row 2 looks wrong, so B's gone. C, row 1 is the wrong row, so that doesn't work. D, let's look at row 1, 5, negative 4, 1, 2. Row 2 looks good, and row 3 looks good. So what's the answer? The answer is D.